going filming? We're not going to film when they're talking to us. Why? Because we haven't asked their permission, that's why. It doesn't matter, babe. They're officers in the conduct of their duties. These are public servants, first amendment, right? Be nice. How are you doing today, sir? Doing well, Sergeant. How are you? Not too bad. Do you have the uh, residence pass? Our landlady picked it up yesterday at LifeBridge. Yeah? We were staying up in Wy or Netherland. Yeah, we're going to have to have her bring it down to you or have her meet you down in town for it. Down in, down no, in town? Can't I can't let you pass the intersection without, without the pass. Um... Which down in town were you meeting? Back, back down in Longmont or uh, Hygiene, something like that. Um, we have two hours between work to get the things that we need, paycheck from the post office. I don't understand why we need to have a pass. You, you're welcome only, to call her on the telephone if you take issue with it. Unfortunately, the sheriff is metering people. Now. Where are you from? I'm from down in Parker. So you're not from here. No, I'm not. You're not a local. I'm not. You're here to provide security. I the am. best security in this location are the residents that know the people that belong here. I understand, sir. And the sheriffs that are that are giving us our directions are from here. Which sheriff are you talking to? Because we've already spoken to Gallagher and Fell. The sheriffs, sheriff and sheriff's deputy, right under the tent over here. If you want to pull off and go talk, speak to them under the tent. You're more than. I welcome. don't. You can invite them over here. I don't want to stand in the sun. I, I can't, unfortunately, have the traffic blocked up. Come on. Looks like that's what's happening. Can, can we move? We can move. Let other people come in. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to have you pull out of the uh, traffic. Stop. Yeah. I'm happy to pull thor forward to go take care of the business we need to take care of. Okay. Just pull over. Please. She's not answering her phone. We've had enough to deal with with this situation. Dealing with roadblocks is not a help to us. Sir, I totally understand. And it's not, I'm not making any decisions. I understand. You're just following orders. We've heard that before. Then you used to just follow orders too. I can't get a hold of her, babe. So... Can we get you to pull right off over here, okay? No, ma'am. Oh, please, Jason. No, ma'am. We've had enough to deal with with this situation. All we have is two hours to take care of the business that we need to. We've talked to Officer Gallagher. We've talked to Officer Fell. We've been into town a couple of times already. Our landlady has the permit. I can't, what can we do about that? I can't get hold of her. We've been staying up I in... Oh, sorry. Um, I can't get hold of her. I tried to call her and it's going straight to voicemail. We've been up in Netherlands and I'm sure you're, you know how difficult it is mm -hmm. to get up to Ned because that was the only place we could find to stay. So we couldn't so get down. one permit per vehicle. Why do you just have the one... Well, permit. we don't have... Our landlady got the permit for us. Okay. She was supposed to go to Lifebridge Church. There was she a notice was. sent out at 7.33 p.m. yesterday. She got Telling it. people to get a permit between 6 and 8 o'clock. So we had 27 minutes to get from Netherlands to come down and get a permit, which was impossible. She dealt with it for us, putting this vehicle with these license plates on it. And we don't have it right now. She's in town, presumably. Or maybe, it is that maybe we need not. You ever had the permit, so you don't know. No, no. Got well, we know that she got it. She was it. standing in line. And oh, she said hold on. She was adding our name to the list. Hi, Priscilla. Hi. Are you in town by any chance? You're in line. Do you have a permit for us? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. What was the result of that? Let her talk Sorry, to Sorry. Um, I will do. She's going to have to come down with it. No, she said she they wouldn't give it to her because we actually had to be there, yeah. apparently. So. We're just here to pick up a paycheck, the lease for our vehicle. I understand that. For two hours. I don't, this wasn't going on before. It's not like we're trying to steal anything. 
Our address is 426 Park Street. <laughs> I, I understand that, um, but we haven't been letting anybody else through either, so... Um, yeah, Who's calling the shots for this? Because this um, is this is I'll our community, later, and sure. I respect that you're a part of that okay. as I... an officer. These folks are not, and I respect their job too. I served yeah. in the military as a captain in the Air Force. I understand what it means to follow orders, but I also understand in certain circumstances when a person has 27 minutes to get to a place, to get a tag, to get into a community that they've lived in for three years, it's just plain ridiculous. Yeah. Let me um, get um, Deputy Kenny up here to see if she can make an exception i can't okay please. okay but please do let me have you pull over so we don't i don't know that i'm ready to do that yet okay then i don't I'm know i'm ready to tell you you're not getting through at all so you're telling me you'll talk to your supervisor if She's i pull over here i'm just someone who can let to... us through yeah okay yeah. Okay. Okay. If you're willing to work with us, I'm willing I am to work willing with at you. at this point to work with Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so pull up over here. Let's put it up here. That would have been nice to know. This is bullshit, babe. Total bullshit. Just is, Jace. Hello. Hi, you. 